Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about why I prefer they-them pronouns when used to refer to me, and what that means to me, and what it doesn't mean. I unfortunately have had the experience of a lot of people using my preferred pronouns to refer to me, and yet missing some of the deeper aspects of gender that I think are more important to me. The reason why I want to be referred to with they-them pronouns is because I identify as non-binary, and I do not want people to think of me as strictly male or strictly female. Because I'm assigned male at birth, usually I deal with people thinking of me as male. And I don't like that. I'd rather people think of me as genderless, or in some sort of middle zone or gender neutral zone. I want to talk a little bit about how I think about it when people around me switch their preferred pronouns. I've seen this happen in both ways. People who are assigned female at birth suddenly announcing, hey, I prefer he, him pronouns, and people assigned male at birth saying, hey, I prefer she, her pronouns. When someone announces this to me, I think about it, and I, I think about, okay, this person either identifies as male or close to it for the he, him pronouns, or as female or somehow close to that identity. And I think about respecting that person's identity, and one of the things that I do is I look at the person a little bit differently, and I consciously try to push myself out of the box. So I may look at someone and initially say, oh, this is just a woman, they seem like a woman, but I notice that when I start looking more deeply, I notice aspects of the person's body language, personality, the way they speak, the way they choose to present themselves, which might include hairstyle, clothing, and so on. I might not no notice everything fitting gender stereotypes, but I notice certain things that seem to feed into the identity that they have told me they want to be recognized as. And I have noticed that when I do this, I tend to see aspects of a person that I didn't necessarily see before, and I've often noticed that it enriches my relationship with that person. The people close to me who really get my experience of gender do this to me too, and they've told me these things. They're like, wow, I notice that your mannerisms and your body language can be kind of switchy sometimes. Like, one moment you're looking very masculine, and another moment you're looking very feminine. And I notice that you have this deep vocal range, but your voice sounds a lot more androgynous than is typical for people with such a deep vocal range. I've had people say things like that to me, and I appreciate that. I feel like these people are looking for and seeing aspects of my self-expression that are important to me. Like, there's a reason why I talk the way I do, there's a reason why I dress the way I do, and there's a reason why I make the life choices I do, and there's a reason I identify as non-binary. There are tons of reasons. And if you're just going to say, okay, I'm going to refer to you as they, them, th th that's not really what I want. Like, I want you to try to push yourself to do a little bit more than that. Try to push yourself to get me out of whatever box you have me in, in your head. Probably the mailbox, because that's what I usually get. Push yourself out of that, and look for aspects of who I am and how I express myself that don't fit into that. And also maybe challenge some of your assumptions. One of the most toxic things to me about gender is when people make assumptions about me or other people on the basis of their gender. If I can think of any one thing that has caused me the most discomfort over the course of my life with respect to gender, it is people making those assumptions, saying, oh, you're a guy, so you must want this. You're a guy, so when you say this, it must mean this. When you do this, it must mean that. I hate that, and I hate it in large part because a huge portion of those assumptions are just outright false when applied to me. They're untrue. People attribute things to me. They say that, or think that I'm thinking things 
that I'm not thinking, and it's caused all sorts of misunderstandings, miscommunications, tense situations, and to me it seems pretty unnecessary. Like, why even assume that if someone is like a cis male? Like, cis males are pretty diverse, um, and definitely don't as assume it if someone's trans, if whether they're a binary trans person or a non-binary trans person like me, those assumptions are probably even more likely to be false or distorted somehow if you're dealing with a trans person. So, basically, this is what I have to say. Like, yes, I prefer they-them pronouns, but it's not just about the pronouns. It's a reflection of something deeper, who I am on a deep level, the life experiences that I've had. So if you really want to respect my gender identity, like, I'm very forgiving about pronouns. If you refer to me as he, as she, I am not going to jump down your throat. It's probably not even going to bother me that much. But the deep stuff really does bother me sometimes. And the reason I prefer they, them is that I want to use it to push people to think about the deeper stuff. So that's what I have to say. I hope that you've gained some insight into this, and I hope that this can help you understand me better, and I hope it can help you understand other trans people, whether binary or non-binary trans people. Because from talking to a lot of trans people about this, I think that the way I feel about this is fairly common. Most trans people seem to want people to think about them differently, and that's why they change their pronouns. Yeah, I hope this has been useful. Thank you!